guys in the previous video we have seen uh, the types of code editors available which code editor to use and the understanding of code editor so in this tutorial we'll be having a look regarding the project structure of angular so what each and every file stands for uh, what are different folders in the project so we'll be having a look at it so let's open the code editor mine is already open so i'll just click on file open folder if you remember we have created a folder called angular to git demo in the first part so now uh, this is the way the folder structure will look in the code editor now let us begin right from the first project e2e this is a folder available here now e2e stands for end to end testing now this is a completely different application uh, so it also has its own tsconfig.json it means typescript configuration the configuration for for typescript language okay so this is e2e uh, this is basically used for testing purpose uh, for the development in the development stage this project will not be used much i mean this section will be not used much so it's fine and let's move towards the next folder node modules these are actually the packages installed that are required for the project if you remember when whenever we create a new project we type after creation of the project by git bash uh, we type npm install so all the packages that are specified in package.json so these are all installed in node modules folder okay so if you have a look here the angular package of common compiler core forms http and so on these all packages are installed here uh, in our future videos we will be also having a look uh, how to install bootstrap or how to install a material design how to install ionic design so those all um, packages will be installed in node modules so third party packages will be and npm packages are installed in this folder this is nothing but it holds packages fine now before moving to source folder let us have a look at these files okay now readme.md this is the by default file generated while the creation of the project it just specifies the basic information what it stands for what are the git commands used what are the npm packages how to install it so just the basic uh, documentation uh, we have already seen package.json uh, all the dependencies are specified in package.json uh, we don't have to edit this file because it is very important even if one of the component is missing the complete project will go down project will not not work at all so we have not we we don't have to do anything here moving on to next file this is just a simple license file uh, specific given by mit now most of the open source license are from mit not all of them but most of them uh, if you have a look at this two files karma dot shim dot js and karma dot config dot js these are actually all the uh, files required for testing purpose so right now we will not be having any look at uh, the testing section change dot md now whatever the changes uh, these two files change log dot md and npm debug dot log so whenever we will be doing our development we will be having our command prompt running under this at this hierarchy angular 2 git demo so whatever the changes that we create in our project uh, in our code they will be logged in this two file npm debug and change log if there is any error uh, even the errors will be also logged here moving to editor config now these are the basic configurations of the editor suppose if you open your project that is angular 2 git demo in a visual studio code editor so whatever the uh, basic configuration that we set that are required for the development purpose will be just noted down here and if we open the same project in different code editor so the configurations which we have set previously will be initialized in the other code editor so this is just for the compatibility with uh, for every code editor the basic setting is been kept here that is editor config now for most of the developer uh, they have an habit to keep their code 
on the git directory online if you create any new file or if you delete a new file all these changes will be monitored here uh, for checking in and checking out the files and the code so basically this is for keeping updates with the git okay and travis.yml bsf uh, bsconfig esc bsconfig json these are all related to the internal configurations of the project all the internal settings are done here we have nothing to do here in this files okay now let's move towards the working directory where we are actually going to work source so this is the folder where we'll be working and more in the source we'll be working in this sub folder called as app let's move to this app folder so these are all the component file and module file present here uh, modules are basically used to initialize all the component and or to import all the core files and it is used to bootstrap the component and declare all the components that we create later on during the development stage so in detail what is module we'll see it in the next video and what are components this will be also seen in the next video so this is how we have seen the basic structure of our project so for more information you can visit to angular site docs in the cli quick start if you come here you can see the project hierarchy in detail and they have also specified what it stands for so thank you for watching guys and please do subscribe by pressing the red button down there and keep coming back and keep watching thank you